You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 7, verses 31 to 35. Jesus said to the crowd, To what then will I compare the people of this generation? And what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you. And you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say, He has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated. By all her children. Welcome back and peace to all. It is sad to note that even in our time, we continue to observe social inequality brought about by discrimination and certain societal biases. Some hold prejudicial attitudes toward others, even though they may know very little about them, and these prevent them from believing in the good intentions of others. That was what happened during the time of John the Baptist and Jesus. The Pharisees and other teachers of the law were so powerful that they caused dissension. Imagine how they could say that John the Baptist had a demon, and when Jesus came eating and drinking, The same teachers of the law and the Pharisees said he was a glutton and drunkard and friends of tax collectors and sinners. But why could they not believe in John the Baptist and Jesus? It was because they found it difficult to reconcile their preconceived idea of a king with the lifestyle and teachings that both John and Jesus presented to them. Their message was too much of a challenge for them. John the Baptist preached repentance and cleansing of the soul to prepare for the coming of the promised Messiah. That was Jesus. But the Jews expected someone like King David who would liberate them from the clutches of the Roman oppressors. On top of that, they could not imagine Jesus as a king The Jews undermined his ancestry and his status as a son of a mere carpenter. In truth, their prejudices and stereotyping blinded them. The law teachers knew the scripture and the prophecies about the Messiah, but their pride, material concerns, and hardness of heart prevented them from recognizing Jesus. Reflecting on this, I ask myself, the teachings of Jesus are undoubtedly challenging. Is Jesus inviting me to let go of my prejudices so I may live according to his instructions in freedom and truth? Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.